Technology Hall, you get a sense of how old the Earth is and how dynamic the Earth is. It's constantly changing over the past 4.5 billion years. You get a sense of how there are pieces of crust that move around on a molten interior, and these pieces of crust hit each other, they collide, mountains are formed, they pull apart, there are earthquakes, and these geologic processes have shaped South Carolina as we know it. When you go out as a geologist and you study the rocks in the state, you find that there are pieces of seafloor, there are pieces of volcanic islands, and there are even pieces of Africa in the state. And as far as the mineral diversity in South Carolina, we have amethyst, which is our state gemstone, which the purple color is just a little bit of iron as an impurity locked up in the crystal structure. We also have barite, and the particular example that you see here is from a gold mine in South Carolina near McCormick. Here we are in the Dinosaur Hall in the South Carolina State Museum. And behind me here you see two skeletons of dinosaurs that are a good representative of the types of dinosaurs that we found here in South Carolina. If you go over to areas around Florence or Darlington, you get into some sediments there that are about 70 million years old. And every once in a while you do come up with a dinosaur tooth or a dinosaur bone. And usually that's all we find in the state are isolated teeth and isolated bones. But when we have skeletons like this that you might find out in Wyoming or South Dakota, you get an idea of what the entire skeleton looks like and therefore exactly what these animals look like and what they were doing here in South Carolina. In addition to the dinosaur skeletons we have on exhibit here, we have a dig box that gives folks an idea of what it might be like to actually be in the field excavating a duckbill dinosaur like the skeleton we have on exhibit. One of the other neat things you'll see here in the dinosaur hall is our fossil preparation area, which on a given day you'll see a lot of different things. Right now we're looking at pieces of a turtle shell that's about 400,000 years old that was from here in South Carolina. And you get a good idea of what it takes to take a fossil from the field and put it back together. And it's like a three-dimensional puzzle where you have lots of little pieces and it helps to know a little bit of the anatomy of something so you can put it back together. And things like dinosaur bones we have here in, as an example where it's a bone from a duckbill dinosaur like the skeleton we have on exhibit and the plaster jacket that you see is a protective shell that we would make in order to get the bone out of the field and back to the lab where we can work on it some more and take some more of the rock off of it and eventually ends up on exhibit. Well, here in our fossils in a limestone quarry exhibit, this is a reconstruction of an excavation down the low country, and it gives our visitors a very good idea of the process of discovery. To be in the limestone quarry, to be walking along the quarry floor, which was once the sea floor, and coming across the remains of animals that were alive here 35 million years ago. The remains of animals like the sea turtle, clams and snails, different types of sharks, and if we're really lucky, a fossil whale. Our three main focuses are geology, paleontology, and biology. And here in this area of the museum, we have maybe an iconic image here is our mastodon, a reconstruction of a mastodon, based on bones that we found here in South Carolina. And it gives folks a really good idea of the types of animals that have been here in the state and how life has changed in the past or over the past 65 million years or so how environments have changed and really how things are quite different than they were in the distant past. 